friends, Tracy here from Fuzzy Whatnots, and welcome back for the fourth episode of CMYK Play. Each week in these videos we'll be exploring and experimenting using CMYK dyes, C standing for cyan, M standing for magenta, Y standing for yellow, and K standing for black. I will be using stock mixtures, powdered dye, and occasionally if necessary a combination of the two. This week we'll be exploring petrol, which is a very specific blue. Everything you need to know about what I'm doing, what dye I'm using, and what form I'm using it in will be listed in the description box below along with any other relevant information. These experiments are done using 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, fingering weight sock yarn. Please keep in mind that this is not the right or the wrong way to do this. This is just my experiments and how I'm doing it. There are many things that can change the outcome of your experiment at home such as if you use a different dye, if your water is more or less acidic than mine, and if you use a different yarn base than I do. I encourage you to take this information and use it as a jumping off point in your own experiments. And with that being said, let's go visit past me in the studio and dye some petrol. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of CMYK Play. Today's episode is going to be a color called Petrol, which I will put up on the screen here for you so you can get a look at. To reach this colorway, we are actually going to be using all of the colors, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. So let's get started with our first attempt. We're going to start with the cyan and do four tablespoons of the cyan, which is Caribbean blue. We're going to do four tablespoons of the cyan. One, two, three, four. We are going to do <clears throat> one tablespoon and one teaspoon of the yellow. The black is two parts, so we're going to do two tablespoons of black. It calls for a very, very small amount of magenta. So I'm going to actually give this a swirly do here. And I think the magenta, because it's such a small amount, we're going to start with a quarter teaspoon of magenta. As soon as I can find it. There we go, a quarter teaspoon of magenta. Alright, so let's mix that up and see where we're at. <clears throat> That's interesting. That is a really dark color. So, it's going to be a little hard to tell. Let me add some water. I think the paper towel test for this one is going to be a little hard to tell. At least for a first attempt here. Uh -uh. 
<clears throat> Add a little water. It looks kind of green to me. I think I'm going to roll with this as attempt one because with attempt one, um, this color is a pretty specific um, shade. So I want to see what this looks like um, following pretty closely to the CMYK formulas that I took off the internet. Um, those are, those formulas have to do with um, printers. So adjusting them for dye is not 100%. So I am going to go ahead and go over to the pots and we're going to see our base and then make adjustments from there. So here we are at the pots. As always, uh, we start out um, in the pot with plain tap water, no citric acid, the dye, and no heat. <clears throat> so we're gonna stir this up. I'm gonna turn on the heat. These take a while to heat up, so the water will be cold for a bit. <clears throat> We're going to get our skein. For these episodes, uh, I use a 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon base. It's my fuzzy, uh, fuzzy fingering base. It's a sock yarn. And we're gonna, I'm going to mix it on up here keep swirling until I feel some heat in the water and then we'll come back and add the citric acid. That is gorgeous. But I'm not 100% sure it is the shade. So I said I'm going to go ahead and keep swirling this around until I feel some heat and then we'll be back to add the citric acid. Okay, so I'm starting to feel some heat in the water. This is what we're looking at right now and there's still quite a bit of dye in there. So... I am thinking attempt one is probably a little too dark. <clears throat> All right, so let's head back to the mixing table and start working on our second attempt. So number two, I want to keep the amount of blue, the amount of magenta. I want to drop down to one tablespoon of yellow and one, I want to do one teaspoon of black. All right, so. We're going to keep it <clears throat> four tablespoons of blue, cyan, four. tablespoon of the yellow. Remember the last attempt we did a tablespoon plus a teaspoon. <clears throat> We're going to do one teaspoon of black. And one quarter teaspoon of the magenta. Get 
we'll just a swirly do and see what we're looking at here. All right, let's see where we're at with attempt two. Definitely lighter. I think I'm gonna add another teaspoon of black. See that's that's fairly bright. Right. <clears throat> Let's see. Let that set for a minute. It's definitely way lighter than attempt one, but I don't know if it's just my eyes, but that looks a lot more teal. I'm gonna go wild. I am gonna add, I'm gonna add another half a tablespoon of the blue. Look out, world, she's getting a little wild. All right, let's see what adding a little bit more blue looks like. It's really hard to tell on the screen. I'm gonna let that set for a minute. Let's add one more half a tablespoon and then we'll see where that has us. It may be that on the third attempt, I'll need to cut back more on the yellow because I just think that that is the petrol. The color I'm seeing on the screen looks more blue. And what we're getting here is a little bit green to me. All right. All right. Well, that is going to be... We're going to go with this. I want to see what this looks like on the yarn. Um, I'm guessing, though, that my next... Our next attempt uh, is going to need to cut way back on the yellow to get that more bluer color. So let's go over to the pot. Here at the pot, as always, no citric acid, just plain tap water. Putting our mixture in. Turn on the heat, because this one takes forever to heat up. Now I use induction burners. Um, when I started, I had hot plate, but I found that the induction burners, once you get the hang of them, it is, it's just overall better burner, but the hot plates with the coils work just as well. I just feel it with the hot plates and the coils, you run the risk of, you run the risk of having more of a chance of scorching the yarn. So with this, the temperature is, the temperatures um, take a little bit of getting used to, but once you get the hang of it, it is really easy to use. They're also safer because the surface doesn't get as hot. But yeah, that's my little pitch on induction burners. <laughs> So I am gonna, this is what we're looking at here. I'm gonna keep on st 
stir in this until I get a little heat in the water. And then I will be back with you to put our citric acid in and uh, start our next mixture. Because I'm fairly certain there's going to be one. So see you in a few minutes, folks. So now we're, I'm feeling some heat in the water. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of citric acid. Stir it around with the yarn. Looking at here, it still looks very green to me. So for our third attempt, I think I'm gonna back, I'm gonna back off on the yellow. <clears throat> a tad so while that's heating up I will continue to stir it but I want to get started on our third attempt so let's head on back over to the mixing table shall we so I'm going to keep one teaspoon two teaspoons of black we're going to do five tablespoons of uh, Caribbean blue uh, the cyan we're going to stick with a quarter teaspoon of magenta and this time I'm going to do half a tablespoon of the yellow I really want to back off on that yellow <clears throat> back off on that yellow a bit because I'm getting kind of a like a tealy a tealy feel to our colors which in it by itself is not a bad thing, but I really want to try to hit this closer to this petrol color on the third attempt. So we're going to do five tablespoons of cyan, a quarter teaspoon of magenta, half a tablespoon of the yellow, teaspoons of the black actually before I add the black I want to mix this up and see what the sh what the shade is so if I need to make adjustments before we add the black in Let's see what that looks like before the black That still looks kind of green to me. So I'm going to add another tablespoon of the blue. Is was one more tablespoon of the cyan, which still looks awfully green to me. I'm gonna go for another. I'm just wondering in my head, maybe if I add just a tiny bit more of magenta kind of cool off that yellow a little bit so we'll add 
another tablespoon plus another quarter teaspoon of magenta. Okay, I apologize. My uh, camera battery died. Looks like I did get the footage though. Hooray! <clears throat> so engrossed in what I'm doing that I don't pay attention to the thing blipping at me on the screen. All right, so. We added our teaspoon of black, added a little bit of water. This was before black. And this is after black. So I think we're going to roll with this. It still looks green to me, but we'll just have to wait till we wash and dry because you really can't fully tell. So let's go over to the pot. <clears throat> As always, there's no citric acid. This is just plain tap water. The water is cold. I'm going to go ahead and kick on the heat. Final skein. It was definitely bluer than the other two. So maybe if I had backed way off, way more off the yellow, we wouldn't have had to do seven tablespoons of the cyan. But This one is definitely more blue. So I'm going to go ahead and stir this until I start to feel the heat. And then I will be back with you to put in the citric acid. All right. So there's starting to be some heat. The water is starting to heat up. And I definitely think this is closer to that blue we were going for, the petrol. So I am going to add two tablespoons of citric acid. into our little party pot here. <clears throat> so I'm pretty happy with this third color. I mean, I'm happy with all the colors. When I say that I'm happy with the third color, that doesn't mean that I don't like the other colors. It just means this is the closest we've gotten to the color that I was shooting for. So I like all the colors because really none of them are bad. They're just different variations. Um, if you guys have any questions about things, uh, please drop them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. Here's a question that nobody asked, but I'm going to share with you anyway. So you say, Teresa, I love that shade, but what if I wanted that shade just to be a little lighter? Well, my dear viewer, what I would say to that is you could either cut the recipe in half or however much you want to cut or what I would do is say you want this to be half the darkness I would just add two skeins to the pot and so on and so forth if you like this color but you want a real 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 pale sh shade of it you could use a long tray and four skeins and you'll have the same color but it'll just be way way um way way lighter uh, when I'm using the dye stops, I have a tendency to, because it's like tablespoons and teaspoons, and sometimes cutting those into like fourths can be a little difficult. So I am probably more apt to do more skeins with the same recipe because it's just mathematically easier. <laughs> so this is getting pretty warm. I'm gonna go ahead and run these to set. 
wash and dry them and I am sending you back to present me to see what they look like when they're dry. Okay, welcome back. Uh, that was Petrol. This was a decidedly difficult color to get, for sure. So, here are the, I'm gonna show you the outcomes. <laughs> uh, the first two, try one and try two, were doing more green. Um, I think try three is probably the closest. So, here's attempt one. Attempt one was four tablespoons of cyan, a quarter teaspoon of magenta, one tablespoon plus one teaspoon of yellow, and two tablespoons of black. This is like a like a forest green color, I think. Gorgeous forest green color. Not petrol though. Attempt number two. A little bit more blue. It's kind of hard to see on, on camera, but the pictures at the end you'll be able to see. This one's a little bit more blue. Um, not really sure what I would call this. <laughs> it's really pretty though. Um, this attempt was five tablespoons of cyan, a quarter teaspoon of magenta, one tablespoon of yellow, and two teaspoons of black. So, this is number one. This is number two. It's really hard to see on camera, but this one is definitely more blue. And attempt number three, which I believe is the closest to the petrol color I was trying to get. And this attempt was seven tablespoons of cyan, a half a teaspoon of magenta, a half a tablespoon of yellow, and one teaspoon of black. So, petrol is a very specific blue, and... I felt quite challenged with this episode. Um, all three colors are very pretty, as usual. <laughs> um, but I definitely think attempt number three is, is the winner in this one. So all three of these will be on my website when this episode airs. So thank you for joining me in another episode of CMYK Play. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any colors that you would like to see me attempt to make, please uh, drop them in, in the comments. Or I set up an uh, email account specifically for this channel. So it's cmykplay at gmail.com. And you can email any color request to that also. Thank you again for joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe and to like this video. And I will see you next week for the color violet. Have a great day. Happy dying. So, a couple other fun facts. I, when working with blue, feel like I almost need arm length gloves because no matter what I do, it gets all over me. It's all over me. Another fun fact. When the water gets to be about 150 degrees, don't stick your hand in it. It's really hot, I just did that. Why did I do that? Super hot. Okay, fun fact over, bye.